briefcase. Have you found anything interesting? A briefcase. But it is locked. There must be something important inside. Let's take a look. Luigi, you're reading my mind. I'll put it on the table. It's locked. We need something to open it with. Paola's belongings are still in the corridor. We might find something to use to open the briefcase amongst her stuff. I can try to open the briefcase with this. Let's hope this hairpin will do the job. It. Now let's see what's inside. What have you found? Some letters and an old photo. Dear Oswald, never forget how much I love you, Mum. What? Why would Aldo Molinelli keep a photo of Oswald's mother? I wonder who the boy is. We should show these photos to Mrs. Molinelli. She might know something about them. Why don't we ask Oswald directly? Why are you making everything so complicated? Let's not show these photos to Oswald. At least, not yet. I have a hunch about this photo. Let's find Mrs. Molinelli. Sylvia Molinelli is probably in her compartment. Good evening, Mrs. Molinelli. Please, call me Sylvia. I want to thank you, Anna. This young policeman told me everything about your investigation. I am very grateful that you believed me. I just want to find the truth. By the way, I found a handkerchief. It must be yours. Oh, I was looking for it everywhere. Thank you. Sylvia, I want to show you a photo. Please tell me if you recognize anybody in it. I will try. Do you recognize any of the people in this photo? This boy is Mario Molinelli. Definitely Mario Molinelli. He was... He is... Aldo's father. Oh, my dear Aldo. Mario Molinelli? Is Mario the brother of... Luigi? Please don't interrupt. 
I'm sorry to bring up painful memories, Sylvia, but do you know this young lady? No, I don't recognize her. But do you know what? A few months ago, during one of his heavy seizures, Mario was ranting about an older sister. I had never heard about her before, so I asked Aldo if he knew anything. To my surprise, he told me a story about Flora Molinelli, Mario's sister. Did you know anything else? Mario's father did not approve of her fiancé. She married against his will, and she ran away with her husband. Mario's father got all ties with her. He forbade both his wife and Mario from ever contacting her again. Fascinating! Aldo told me that he once saw a photo of Mario's sister when she was young. And I think that this is the photo Aldo was talking about. And this young lady is Mario's sister. Exactly. But this means that... It means that Oswald Bernstein is the nephew of Mario Molinelli. He is Aldo's cousin, and since Mario's only son is now dead, Oswald is the sole heir to Molinelli Industries. What? Oswald is Aldo's cousin? It can't be true. Mio Dio! This changes everything. We need to talk to Cozzi. Signor Cozzi will not take this well. I don't care. We must find the truth, for everyone's sake. Okay, I get it, Miss Myers. It's a very nice theory. Quite logical, I must say, but... But? But it's just a theory. A theory based on one photo. You need to arrest Oswald. He must be the murderer. This photo doesn't prove anything. We need more evidence or a confession or... A confession? That is a good idea, and I know how to get his confession for you. Oswald is not stupid. He is not going to tell you anything. No, but he might accidentally say something to Sylvia. If Sylvia gets on his nerves, and she is good at that. Hmm. Officer Cotzi, please let me try it. Well, okay. But if you fail, then that's it. It will be over and you will leave Porto Cheso immediately. I agree. Thank you, Officer Cotzi. Luigi, can I take your handcuffs? Sure, they are over there on the table. I got them. Now let's talk to Sylvia. Sylvia, we need your help. It is very risky, so if you don't want to do it, then I will understand. What do you want me to do? I want you to go to Oswald Bernstein and give him this photo. You need to get on his nerves, and I mean you must really 
annoy him. I do have that effect on him, even when I am not trying. All right, let's do it. Sylvia, to what do I owe the pleasure? Hello, Oswald. I want to talk to you. I'm listening. Oswald, can you take a look at this photo? That is a very nice old photo, but what has it got to do with me? Do you recognize anybody in it? Sylvia, what is it that you read? Stop it, Oswald. I know everything. Oh, dear. Are you having hysterics again? Poor Aldo. How did he ever put up with you? You think you are so clever, but I know what you are up to. And what am I up to, Sylvia? You want to inherit Molinelli Industries. You killed Aldo to inherit the company. What an imagination you have. You really are quite something. You'll get nothing. I'll see to that. Sylvia, you are starting to annoy me. If you have read Aldo's father's will, then you know that everything passes to me. Oh, really? Now you listen to me, you dumb, spoiled princess. I know Mario's will better than the back of my hand. I created it. Mario just signed it. So it is you who are getting nothing. Molinelli Industries will pass to me. I am the rightful heir. Anna, quickly, give me the handcuffs. So you really did kill him. You murdered my Aldo. I've waited for this opportunity for many years. I have every right to own Molinelli Industries. But due to some twisted logic, Aldo had everything and I had nothing. Even though the corporation was founded by our grandfather. For his whole life, Aldo has lived in palaces, enjoying the fame, the wealth, the adulation. And me? I was a nobody! Moving about with my poor parent, going without food for days on end, simply because my mother fell for a man she truly loved. But my grandfather did not approve. Do you know what it is like to work hard for your family? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Of course you don't, because everything was given to you for free. I worked as an accountant for 35 years in Molinelli Industries, working and working and working. I am a Molinelli. I worked hard for my family while Aldo did nothing. And now he owns the whole company and I own nothing. It is not fair. He dishonored the family name with his affairs and looted the company coffers to pay for your shopping, your new houses, your private tennis lessons. He had to go. You monster! He dishonored the family name. You stole from the family bank. It is not fair. I am a Molinelli. He had to go. You have to go too. Stop right there. Don't move. I am a Molinelli. They had to go! Luigi, put the handcuffs on Mr. Bernstein and escort him to the police station. I am the rightful heir. What I don't understand is how Mr. Bernstein pulled off something like this. Yes, he devised so many trails that led away from him. He almost fooled us. Miss Myers, how did you figure it all out? Well, let's begin with Sylvia. The problem was that Aldo's murder heavily incriminated Sylvia. It was too obvious. So I started to look elsewhere. I discovered that Mr. Verno's actions weren't always rational. I was framed! I know. But at the time, you looked very suspicious. Think about it. On the first evening, you were in a drunken argument with Aldo in the dining car. You were also traveling in the same carriage as Aldo and Paola. And you had visited Porto Cesso last week. Then there was the blackmail letter in your luggage. I've never even seen it. Can you show me the letter, Miss Myers? Thanks. This letter is very good. A devious red herring, and it sets you up with the perfect motive to kill Aldo. Correct, but everything looked too good to be true. 
When we found Oswald's photos in Aldo's luggage and Sylvia told us about Mario Molinelli's estranged sister, all the pieces of the puzzle came together. So how did Mr. Bernstein do it? And more importantly, why? It is a complicated tale. Aldo's grandfather, the founder of what would later become Molinelli Industries, had two children, Flora and Mario. Flora was much older than Mario, so when she found a man she wanted to marry, her brother Mario was still a young child. Flora's father disliked Flora's fiancé. He was opposed to their marriage and made her life a total misery. She decided to run away. She and her fiancé, Albert Bernstein, fled to South America, where Oswald was born. They were very poor. They often went without food for days at a time. Oswald's father could not cope with stress. He left the family and the situation went from bad to worse. Oswald's mother, Flora, struggled on. She told him bedtime stories about his rich grandfather and his sports car company in Italy. She told him that someday he would return to Italy and take control of the company. He was a Molinelli. He was entitled to it. After law school, Oswald went to Europe and got a job in the company as a low-ranking accountant, without revealing his true identity, of course. Because if there was no Aldo when Mario dies, the company would pass to Oswald as the only living descendant of his grandfather. Oswald wanted revenge so badly that he devoted his whole life to it. Oswald identified two candidates to frame, Silvia Molinelli and Fabio Verna. Both of them had plausible motives. He started with Silvia. The affair between Aldo and Paola was well known among Molinelli executives, so Oswald decided to set up Silvia who was known to be jealous and suspicious. He wrote the anonymous letter telling her to board the train, but to remain invisible for as long as possible. Sylvia played her role perfectly, without knowing that Oswald was pulling the strings. Oswald chatted with Aldo until the train started to slow down. The main brakes are very loud, so he stabbed Aldo when nobody could hear him scream. He dragged the body to Paula's compartment and threw Sylvia's stolen earring on the floor near Aldo's body. After the murder, Oswald rushed to the cafe to chat with me so that he would have the perfect alibi. But there was a problem. Vincent from the cafe had seen Oswald leaving Paula's compartment. Instead of reporting this to the police, Vincent decided to blackmail Oswald. He started following Oswald. He was the mysterious spy that I thought was following me. Oswald was wary of the threat, so he agreed to meet the blackmailer to pay him. He took the Porto Cesso knife from the cellar, and when he met Vincent in the tunnel, he killed him. He then put the real blackmail letter into Mr. Verno's luggage, so that Verno looked like the intended recipient. That is devious. I know. He also put the Verno tires documents into your luggage to further incriminate you. I have been uh, looking for them for so many years. Can I have a look at the documents? Thank you, Miss Myers. You're welcome, Mr. Verno. Anyway, let's move on to you, Mr. Verno. You were the plan B in case something went wrong with the Sylvia scenario. Oswald knew that Mr. Verno hated the Molinellis because of the Verno tires deal, and that Mr. Verno would do anything to get the company back. He wrote an anonymous letter to Mr. Verno, inviting him to Porto Cesso, and he offered help and information about Verno tires. The purpose of your visit to Porto Cesso was simple. He wanted people to see you here, so that fingers would be pointed at you. Oswald used the Porto Cesso knife to kill Aldo, further incriminating Mr. Verno. The Sylvia scenario was going according to plan. Sylvia was arrested, Officer Cotzi believed she was guilty, so the mission seemed to be accomplished. But then, as more facts were discovered, the focus of the investigation switched to Mr. Verna. The more we dug, the more the facts clearly pointed at him. Yes, that's true. But at that point, Oswald started to get worried about my investigation. He decided to kill me. He dropped a huge stone on me from the building in the old town, but Luigi saved me. At your service, Anna. The final blow to Oswald's plans was the photo. He didn't know that Aldo had the photo of Flora and Mario. Did Aldo know that the boy in the photo was Mario? I think so. Aldo accidentally found the photo some time ago. Oswald had left his briefcase open and the photo was visible. Aldo recognized his young father in the photo and remembered the rumors about Flora. He realized who Oswald really was and got scared. 
Because if he and Mario died, then Oswald was the heir to the company. He became very nervous, and that was what worried Paula. She had read some of my investigative reports and decided that I would be a perfect detective. So she invited me to the launch event. She wanted to talk to me on the first evening, but we were interrupted by Aldo. By the next morning, it was too late. Poor girl. Did uh, she really kill herself? Yes, she really killed herself. She really loved Aldo. Such a tragedy. Yes. What a terrible situation. Uh, Miss Myers, I must say, I was wrong about you. I admit, I couldn't have figured this out on my own. But I'm glad the case is solved and the killer is behind bars. I would like to thank everybody for their help, especially Miss Myers. Now, excuse me. I have Oswald Bernstein to deal with. The important thing is that we caught the killer. Without you and Luigi, it would not have been possible. So, how do you feel about Porto Ceso? You know what? The Molinelli car launch has been cancelled, so I can return to Zurich later. I think I will stay in Porto Ceso for a few days' holiday. Could you show me around? I would love to. A proper tour? Of course. This way, please.